Mm. This is rounded down in youth hostel. And it's youth hostels are not really like very youthful in fact. This is the lounge. <laughs> oh I'm not very useful because youthful because I'm here, I know, right? Is um, like loads of families with really young children. This is the uh, catered dining room. And it's, yeah, where you get breakfast and dinner if you want to pay for it. Uh, and if you don't want to pay for it, uh, this is the self catering uh, la uh, dining room. And this is the self catering kitchen. <sighs> right. <laughs> uh, right, this is Loch Lomond. This is Loch Lomond here. Um, the most extraordinary, uh, it's been incredibly warm, uh, about 25, 28 degrees. Um, since I've been here, I've been here, for, this will be my fourth night. Um, and this here, diving platform, this is a, it's like a landing stage there, and it goes right out into um, it's a truly deep water uh, and I've been diving off the end of it head first brilliant absolutely brilliant um, well midge report midge report uh, if it's a bit of a breeze it's absolutely no problem at all and there is quite a good breeze here because it's this, this lawn incredible well kept. Um, well, there's benches outside space, look at that. And then all bedrooms, different types of bedrooms. I'm in a bunk room with the boys, um, but there's a girls one, and little single rooms as well. Um, I'm not sure, some of them might not even be en suite. <coughs> yeah, so this is Loch Lomond. It's quite a quaint little place. Sort of I don't know, baronial Scottish French influence of that. Yeah, probably. <coughs> it's very fine indeed. The atmosphere is extremely, uh, extremely kind uh, for the sake of it being a place where people are all on holiday <laughs> for a start. Um, and lots of people have come uh, walking here. Hi. Friendly. <laughs> Uh, from all over the world to walk the West Highland Way. Uh, this is on the West Highland Way. Uh, and most people have walked for uh, two days, 28 miles from Mulgai, uh, a place where my father used to live. Uh, and that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. Yeah, there's a little river taxi comes to the to the landing stage and and and. It's, it's so cute. It's so cute here. And yesterday, we won't see it from here, the mountain. I walked up the mountain yesterday. <sighs> Just with like, um, Sammy and Glad that I was talking to. He was going for a walk. I was like, are we going for a walk? We're going for a walk. We're going for a walk. We went for a walk. Like, seven hours through the mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's a Munro. Munro is a mountain in Scotland, over 3,000 feet high at the top. Um, it's about 1,000 meters, uh, which is pretty high actually for a mountain. Uh, Snowdon is just a Munro, but isn't in Scotland. Um, and Ben Lumond, which is just behind me, won't we see it in a minute, is. Uh, one of the most southerly Munros, so the most uh, easily accessible from England. Um, I'd never been up a Munro before, so I was up a Munro yesterday. And it was, you know, people actually, I spoke to a man on uh, a couple of days ago. And he said, oh, it will take uh, two hours to do that. I was like, oh, right, a couple of hours, okay. 
<laughs> and when I got back from the mountain, I, I, I said to the man in the kitchen, and he said, oh, you know what the record is? <clears throat> the record is 45 minutes to get from the bottom to the top and back to the bottom again. I had just returned from a walk of seven hours. <laughs> it was absolutely delightful. Very, very pleasant, just taking it nice and easy, looking at the views all the way. Really lovely, lovely. Uh, yeah, the midge report continued is um, they do come up out of the grass at night. And I haven't, I'm not covered in midge bites by any means, and I've been here since my fifth day. Is um, the landing stage is an absolute godsend, it really is. Um, I can see it from here, sticking right out, and there's pretty much always a breeze there um, at the end. So, if the bridges are up, is uh, <laughs> well, but, well, yeah, I have, and people do sit on the end of the landing stage. So this whole little area of uh, Rauer Denon, Rauer Denon on Loch Lomond, right. Well, is that the is that the sound of a jet ski? I think it may well be the sound of a jet ski. Is what Rauer Denon is is Glasgow's dreamland. It's the place where. They come and play, and come and relax, and dream of coming to and relaxing when they're at work in Glasgow. And it's dream. It's the middle of the winter. <laughs> um, but it's also the place. I've been chatting to a few people whilst I've been here. Uh, it is also the place that uh, Glasgow comes to, to rest forever. And that is why I'm here. That is why I'm here. This is the place that my father, who passed away earlier this year, uh, uh, wished to be scattered. Uh, so that he may remain here in dreamland Oh, what a beautiful place it is. So we're nearly across the way now. So a place I came to with my brother and my father in 2015. He was getting um, increasingly, clearly very old. Um, and so we brought him up to uh, show us where he wanted to be and show us Glasgow and show us where he was born and show us uh, Drummond and Mulgai and Besden um, and to come here and to come here um, and we did and now in being here again and remembering I'm so glad that I did. I'm so glad that we did. I'm so glad that he did. Because I feel that we can come here now, myself and my brother, and with the rest of the family, and to you know share our experience of coming here. Um, it's the most wonderful retreat. Is um, you know, running and jumping into a wonderful, warm, sunny lock. <sighs> Climbing up a great proper mountain. All down these beaches all night. Uh, uh, little, you can see little fires going with people's barbecues and campfires. And the whole place is that I came up on the, one of the warmest days of the year. And... Uh, <laughs> it took a very long time indeed to get down the road because uh, it was so busy 
and every every beach lined with people and jumping from a great landing stage over here. Uh, yeah, this is a place of memorial. The young guy was saying that he was uh, always amazed how many uh, of his friends' grandparents. Um, wish and remain to be here. It's a wonderful place, it's like sacred ground. Sacred ground. But Glaswegians, you know, listening to their voices you might think that they were a harsh and unfriendly people. And that is the furthest possible the furthest possible thing from the actual truth. And the truth is that Glaswegians are the most generous and kind-hearted and direct and honest people um, I've ever spent time with and I feel an enormous uh, kinship with them. When I come up, I've been to a music festival last week with many, many Glaswegians in Stirling where my father went to school. Um, it was tremendous. It was absolutely tremendous. I felt like I had mothers and sisters and brothers and fathers. It was just wonderful, really, really wonderful. Um, this is the bench. This is the bench that uh, myself and my father and my brother sat on. Uh, here it was. It was here. It was here, but the trees have grown up. We had a great view of the loch, but just over the way, there's another bench. And that does have a great view of the loch. So that's it, that's Rao Denon. There's a hotel just down there. And I went there earlier. And uh, <laughs> I might say that uh, I thought it was a bit of a dump. Yes. <laughs> sorry, I mean sorry. Just the youth hostel is just so perfect. It's it's not pretentious. It's not uh, expensive. It's not um, a place where you have to keep children quiet. It is a place where there are the most incredible resources for children to uh, swim and walk and dive and see nature. These woods are just extraordinarily beautiful. Broadleaf woods here. So let's just walk on the beach and see that mountain. <laughs> Yeah, and this is the beach. We were here. I was here with my brother and my father. This is uh, Ben Lomond up here. There's a wee front peak and the Ben is at the back. That's over 3,000 feet high. And the youth hostel just tucked all safe and private behind a fence at the end of a long drive. A happy land. A happy land.